what's going on y'all man so tiffany henyard is back in the news again and this right here is embarrassing one of the most embarrassing stories i've heard in quite some time so tiffany henyard the city of dalton she's a mayor of is now behind on payments on cars so police cars um cars for public officials things of that nature and these cars are now on the works of being repossessed right Hopefully they can make the payment, but they're in the works of being repossessed. And in this video, I'm gonna do a reaction to a WG WGN9 news. And I'm just like, I can't believe that this city is going through this. Can't believe the city's going through this. I mean, it's one thing to be corrupt. You're just doing what you gotta do to, to, to fatten your pockets. You know, all politicians do dirt. But this right here is insane. This is insane. So let's get to this video right here coming out of Chicago, man. This is so disgusting. And as always, I leave links in the description so you guys can check these videos out in its entirety. Threat now, tow trucks could be arriving soon to repossess some village vehicles. And WGN's Courtney Spinelli is joining us live from Dalton with the latest. Courtney. Micah and Ray, some of those vehicles being threatened with repossession include Village of Dalton police cruisers and accessories that the village financed back in 2019, much like the one right behind me. Tonight, some Village of Dalton trustees and their legislative council are calling for answers and accountability. You about to get police cars repossessed. I've done a, I've done a lot of videos, did a lot of content, seen a lot of things. I've never heard of a police car getting repossessed. A police car? Multiple police cars? That is so dangerous. But let's continue on. There's no accountability. In yet another shock to Village of Dalton trustees, a letter falling on their desks dated February 14th. Representatives from Kansas State Bank threatening to repossess 13 village vehicles, saying more than $76,000 is overdue. Wow. Wow. 76 grand is overdue. <laughs> the past due amount is $76,000. What are they doing with the money? And climbing. The Board of Trustees approved payment in May of 2023. But where that loan payment went that was due nine months ago is anyone's guess. Lawyers for the bank now warning the village, pay up or be ready for repossession agents to take the vehicles, which include six police cruisers. Well, the consequences initially are, are life threatening. A fear for public safety if means to respond to calls in emergencies is hindered. Seven other vehicles also facing repossession include six public works cars. She can blame whoever she wants, but the board did their job back in May and authorized payment. She's blocking payment. So she's blocking a payment according to this random white guy that's on his um, laptop. So she's blocking a payment. The payment was approved, but the payment didn't go to who the payment had to go to. So if the payment was already approved. The 76 grand was approved to pay for these police vehicles and they didn't get their money. Not to mention, they said that, like, I think they also mentioned the upwork that was done, like the lights and stuff like that, because that doesn't come with the car that has to be added on. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to do stuff like that. I'm going to mention that in another video. Why? You know, another story about that. But I used to do that kind of work where I used to do, you know, do like upfitting for vehicles and stuff like that, like police vehicles and stuff. So it's not a cheap task. It's very expensive. And if you're known for not paying, people ain't going to do the work for you. I'm just leaving it at that. Legislative counsel for the Board of Trustees, Bert Odelson, is talking about Dalton's self-proclaimed super mayor, Tiffany Hanger. None of them do the things that we do here. As unpaid bills by the village have come to light, WGN Investigates has uncovered exorbitant spending on lavish trips and experiences by Hangard and her allies, including a trip to Vegas that cost more than $12,000 the same month the loan payment was due. I mean, I'm not saying that's the where the money went to, but the same month the loan payment was due, she go to do it up in Vegas. I'm just saying. Sometimes two plus two do equal four, but I'm not doing that equation right here on this channel. But I leave it up to y'all. I have never, ever seen the abuse that this mayor is, is laying on the feet of her citizens, ever. Village of Dalton trustees going head to head with Hangard at meetings, calling for transparency so residents know where taxpayer dollars are going. We need receipts to understand 
What's going on? They're in charge of overseeing finances, but say the mayor has restricted them from access to those, leaving them mostly in the dark. On top of that, several trustees telling WGN Thursday they're now hearing from vendors that say they were hired for work and never paid. More expenses the board was not aware of. <laughs> they have no idea what she's doing with the money. And no How did she get this far ahead with, with spending all this money? Or allegedly spending all this money? How did she get this far ahead? Because... From what I understand, from the reports that I see, before she became mayor, the city was $2 million in the surplus. Now it's $5 million in deficit. How do y'all let $7 million go through the fingers? That's a lot of money. No clear answer whether agents will start taking village vehicles as collateral for the unpaid bill. WGN reached out to a contact in the letter to the village who declined to comment. They're coming. It's just a matter of time. Now, he went by the village offices late this afternoon to try and speak with the mayor, but they were closed for the day. Board meetings are typically held on the first and third Monday of each month, but it appears there will not be another board meeting to hear about this topic potentially until at least March 6th. Reporting live in Dalton tonight, Courtney Spinelli, W. Wow. So you got to wait to March 6th to get answers about where this money is at. This is crazy. You're not. This city is not paying their bills. It did. You know how embarrassing it is to get police cars repossessed? I've never heard of that in my life. Never. Never heard of a police car getting repossessed. And not to mention, they talking about six police cars. And I want to pull this other video. I want to show you guys this real quick. Just a reminder how, how bad this spending habits is out there in Dalton. Because this is going to be the narrative when we go broke. You're going to say, I wasn't even on the bank account. The trustees did it. When at the end of the day, you're making decisions and spending money and then get mad when we don't approve it because it's not financially staffed. I sat here and looked at a lease that child's paying $149,000 for one of them trucks. You make absolute, that's like when you're 19 years old and you go get a car and the interest rate 27%. That makes absolutely no sense. You're Please not making five. great Finance, excuse me, please stay back. But let me tell you, here it is, dated December 27th, 2022. The cash price of a 2023 Chevy Tahoe, $93,216.71. Interest and APR, $55,929.49. Total lease price, $149,146.20. Tell me if it's not facts, because your signature is all on it. I don't see that. Okay, but you want to put, you want me to I don't. All right. I'll, I'll but get at my the statement end, in a At few the end of the finish. day, it's not about going back and forth with you. It's about making financial decisions that... Is in the benefit of everybody. So you see the crazy amount that she is paying for interest on a vehicle. Crazy amount of money she's paying for interest on the vehicle that she signed off on. And the trustees don't know nothing about it. She just goes sign off on a on a Tahoe and paying fifty thousand dollars in interest. That's crazy. That is crazy. Like she said, that's like when you're 19 years old buying your first car. That's the kind of interest she's getting. And not to mention now you're not paying your bills and you got multiple vehicles about to get repossessed. <sighs> this is, she's literally did that. The city girl mayor. Nice makeup, wig on point, nice little side swoop wig. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff, right? She got on Gucci. She be having all these type of things going, these lavish trips, all on taxpayer dime. All on taxpayer dime, man. I'm telling you, I'm really sick of these politicians making black women look this bad. It's, it's too many of them. It's, it's too many to count on these politicians, these elected officials that's making black women look bad. I am so over it. I ain't gonna lie. Not paying your bills, but you looking fly. Like, that is the ultimate city girl move. Ultimate city girl move, man. But let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments, man. I I don't. Like I said, I'm, I'm really tired of it. I'm really tired of it. I'm really sick of it. It's same thing, rinse and repeat, regular schedule programming. Let me do something to make myself look good. Let me do something to make myself look good. Makeup always on point. Wigs always on point. Wearing Gucci. Got private security. Got people driving around. You, 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 all these cars flying first class to, to Vegas. And 
you about to get six police cars repossessed in an area where crime is already bad. Now you have six police cars taken off. What, are you going to have three police officers in a car? You, can't, you have three police officers sitting in the front seat together? Like it's a, like it's a, a U-Haul truck? That's, this is crazy. This is crazy. But let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments, man. Meet you guys down there. Also, in the comments, I'll leave a link to my newsletter so I could directly contact you guys when I do live streams, giveaways, and when I post content. All right, man. Till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right. Later. One. Also, if you guys like this kind of content, please consider hitting subscribe and check out this other video YouTube suggested. I didn't suggest it. YouTube did. And YouTube do not lie. All right. Peace.